Hey guys, welcome back to our Pokemon XD with 4 v 5 In the last episode, we defeated Snattle and took back Phoenix from Cypher, who had been controlling it and replacing all the members with it. And um, in this episode, we're going to be going to the place where Cypher are apparently coming and going across the desert, according to the citizens of Phoenix. Um, I just want to say I apologise for the last two episodes, I think it was, for the microphone weird. Um, the poor audio, sorry, basically of my commentary. Um, it does sound okay in this episode, from what I've done, been doing with more sound tests, um, but if it doesn't, then you might have to give me a few days to uh, try and sort it out, or, yeah, because I'm, I'm quite crap with stuff like this. But, oh well, if I get it on, if I get it on YouTube, perfectly fine, then <laughs> that's all I really ask, really. Okay, so, um, um, last time I uh, went to get Myra B, I went to battle Myra B again, and he was in Pyrite Town, and I caught um, the Shadow Grimer. Yep, I caught the Shadow Grimer that we missed. Yes, knife from Myra B. Um, I've put him in my party because I'm not training Vulpix up, and I've been doing some off-screen training, and that's our Pokemon at the moment. Mostly, it was I think we got I got up Baltoy two levels, and I got up Snarlant four, so. Um, I'll do more off-screen training with Snarren later on, so at the moment I'll put SP on with Baltoy. Right, let's head off to the place where Cypher are apparently doing stuff. Not like that. Cypher was witness transporting things in this area. Let's go! The scooter's tires bogged down in the sand. It's impossible to go any farther. So we have to head back to Phoenix City because our scooter at the moment cannot um, go through this uh, deep sand. You tried going into the northern desert, didn't you? The northern desert sand is very deep. An ordinary scooter couldn't possibly make it through that sand. Oh, and what mail? Ben, we've been asked to help locate a missing Pokemon. It was among those missing in the SS Libra. That's the boat at the beginning. Please m visit us in Pyrite and speak with the missing Pokemon's owner. So we have to go back to Pyrite to OMBS at the top, I believe, where we uh, gave that sister back to her, and she didn't pay us handsomely for our ward. I mean, our work. Sorry. Good old bodyguard. Although he didn't really defend against Cypher very well, did he? And Shroomish, that let Cypher in as well. Is that is that Is it me or is that well Groudon to you guys? I call him Groudon. Don't know why, it just I've always called him that. But is that Groudon? It does look like him. From this point of view. I've never noticed that before. Oh well. Oh, I should have really cut it to the top, shouldn't I? Because God, this building takes not ages, but it just it's a pain to go through. Oh well, we're here now. Oh, there's Detro. There's a little girl here who's crying her eyes out. I feel sorry for her. I wish I could help her. I bet you do, Detro. I bet you do. Yo! I heard what happened to Phoenix from Marcia. I'm amazed they even managed to hold Justy for hostage. By the way, that old gent came here with his granddaughter. He's looking out for help missing a finding Pokemon. Ben, if you don't hear him out if you don't mind, please hear him out. So you better talk to this old man. I'm sorry, I'm at my wit's end. You're familiar with the news about the ship SS Libra's appearance. Disappearance. My granddaughter's Pokemon was on board, and it vanished with the ship. The Pokemon is what I found while tending to my garden. It was among my tiny bonsai trees, and it's a new species, I'm certain of it. Please, I implore you, please find my missing Pokemon, if only for my granddaughter's sake. Oh, thank you, you are so kind. Our Pokemon is named Bonsai. It looks very much like a potted plant. Please help us. 
My granddaughter, has, my granddaughter has a photo bomb site. Please ask her if you may see it. We'll try collecting information on our own, but to be honest, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. For the time being, there may be nothing we can do but gather information while tracking Cypher's movements. Ben, your clothes are covered in sand. What happened to you? I explained what happened in a northern desert. That's big news. This could be Cypher's new hideout. Well, it may be too difficult for an ordinary scooter to cross the desert. It won't be easy getting there to investigate. Well, for help with something like that, how about Poe and Gate in Port? If anyone can help. Oh yes, that's it. Good idea, bit. <laughs> bit. Never fails to, fails to amuse me, that name. Poe's an old buddy of ours. He runs a mechanical parts shop with his grandpa, Macken. Huh? You know the guy. Well, we'll get, we can cut right into the chase. I'll get in touch with him. I'm sure I'll come up with the means for you to cross the desert. Right, so Bonsai is this Pokemon here. Um, this and Munchlax were the, their first appearance in the game, and these were the first two four, uh, fourth generation Pokemon to be in a Pokemon game, I believe. I think that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong, Gamer Number 98, as you've been doing in the past few videos, which, to be quite honest, I am grateful for. And I might cut this out to when we. Nah, never mind. Feel my. Like I was saying now, I'm not sure I finished the sentence, I forgot, I've got short term memory loss like that. Um, game on the 98, I am grateful for your corrections, because sometimes I tell information that I don't, I'm not 100% sure is true, but that's what I've heard or I believe, so. Thank you, game on the 98. Alright, moving on. I've always loved the, like, the finger clicking in this, uh this music. I don't know why, I just have it's cool. Oh yes, and I've also found out that if you go to the fortune teller woman, she actually uh, gives you clues about what to do next. Like in some sort of, not riddle, but yeah, y you'll find out when you speak to her. Oh wait, where am I going now? Nope, stupid me, I'm not supposed to go there. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, I know. We can't go back in, we can't go further, because I'm scooted gay. Right, okay. We need to go to Gate and Port. God, we haven't been there in a few episodes, have we? Well, about 20 odd, maybe. <laughs> Here we are. And you can battle these people again, I believe. I think they've got stronger Pokemon now, so... We might do one battle with them, because... I don't think we'll be doing much battling in this episode. Yo Ben, I heard from Bit. You want to cross the desert, do you? You'll be able to cross the desert on your scooter, right? All you need is a conversion kit. Well, Grandpa's gone out and he hasn't come back, just like before. Grandpa's the only one who knows all about knows about all the parts we can carry. Hello, viewers. This is Sec, OMBS's director. We bring you a special scoop. The courageous actions of a young boy fought with a group of cipher operatives who had inf infiltrated Phoenix City. This footage shows the boy and his Pokémon driving off a top cipher admin from the city sta stadium. Cypher have been t trying to take over the entire city by replacing, it si by replacing its citizens with Syndicate's members. OMBS was also targeted for takeover by Cypher. Despite this, despite this setback, Cypher appears to be growing more active. The authorities have issued a caution to all citizens and organisations to be alert to the possibility of further attacks. As you've seen, Cypher has returned with a vengeance. The entire Oil region is endangered again. OMBS has prom promises to dodgily... Dodgily? What? Dodgely pursue this story and provide you with the most accurate information on Cypher's actions. We must not allow Cypher to carry out his conspiracy of fear. Let's all protect the peace of all of courage. Right, I'm so sorry about that reading. That was terrible. You're amazing. But well, I always thought you were amazing, but I didn't know how amazing. Okay, Per, I'm I'm straight. Okay, you know you need to come on to me. Here you are before my eyes, but also on TV news. It's a funny little feeling. I hope that's not kinky. Hey, I figured it out. You want your scooter modified so you can lay a smack down on Cypher, right? Of all times, Grandpa will be out of the shop. It's a headache. He's over with Dr. Communico's manor again. You better be off- You better be- You better be better off going to see him in person. I mean, I've been there in about 20 episodes either. Oh 
my, my, I haven't seen you for a while. I understand that you are quite the hero in Phoenix City. Very impressive of you. Ho, ho, ho. That red guy is awesome. We're famous. Everyone loves us. Well, not Cypher, obviously, but... Right, okay. Communico's house. Okay, we've already been read that before. Wait, who goes there? You must be yet another burglar. Why are there so many burglars? Cherubin will put you straight. Don't you move. Cherubin is... Cherubin, I'm... I, what? Cherubin, I'm one. Oh, right. And Cherubin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminiko. Cherubin is still the only assistant. So Cherubin is to be the number one assistant. And Cherubin this time is a bit stronger, I believe. Yes, he does, because he has fucking Gyarados, which do my head in. Okay, we're going to do the smart thing here and gang up on the Gyarados. Because Gyarados are bloody amazing when you have them, but they're so oh, crap. No, 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 not on Espeon. And, oh, right, okay. Oh, right, they're both super effective. Okay, moment of mind. Oh, Baltoid, this is a crucial moment in the game and you can't... God damn it. Right, confusion again, and... Oh, screw it, just use Asian power, because that's more likely to hit. And Flash is like Outrage, but a um, normal type. So it goes on for like... It goes on for two turns and gets confused, or it goes on for three turns, then Gyarados will get confused. It's an okay move, but... Well, I use Outrage a lot, I spam it a lot on my Dragon Pokemon, so... Yeah, so it's not that much more difficult. Yeah, his Sun Kern is basically the same. It's more his Gyarados that you got to be aware of, because that thing can beat you up and spit you out. Uh, Sandstorm. Um, what moves have we got? No, we'll keep the moves we've got at the moment. Yes, stop learning Sandstorm. And Baltoy evolves at level 30, evolves at level 36 by the way, so you've got quite a lot of training to do from when you first get it. And heartache caused it so in goddamn annoying. Chobin lost. Oh, this is devastating to Chobin. Chobin demands a rematch. Chobin, what is the meaning of all your shouting? Oh, Dr. Kaminiko! Chibon's trying to teach this burglar a lesson. Burglar? A burglar, you say? No, no, no mercy. Will he be, need be given to a burglar? Just let, let the just completed it handle him. Doctor, you don't mean it. No, not the clown. The scary, really scary clown. I said it. Chibon understands. It. It is. You wait. You're going to get it. I love this part of the game. Okay, you really do want to heal up your Pokemon. Foo foo foo, soon, yes, very soon, you'll see what we have in store for you. If you wish to flee, let me now. No. 
No, I mean. Ah, oh, so your intention is to burgle. No matter what, a harsh lesson must needs to be taught. Fine, let us begin. Tweet! For the rumble of thunder fills the air, the rubber remains free of clouds. Let the thunder tear the skies and run the earth. The time has come for the ultimate Robo Pokemon to finally reveal itself. You too? Come hither, Robo Groudon! Now is that not awesome or what? That is completely amazing. I'm not even being sarcastic. Robo Groudon, go! Oh! This is who you battle. You have been warned. Right, Robo Groudon. Basically, he's got. I think he's got two more Pokemon than what he had just had a minute ago, and all his Pokemon have been powered up. And yes, his Sunken has evolved. So. Yeah, it's really weird how he does that. In my opinion, this is... It It will be quite a hard battle. I think his Pokemon level up, like, level 20s or... Oh, right, the same level. Okay, then. Is, uh, I think... He, yeah, but he's got two more Pokemon, and obviously, um... Sunkern's evolved. So, we'll do what we did last time, and, uh... Gang up on Gyarados, and hopefully Baltoy will be able to hit it this time. Come on, Baltoy. Oh my bloody god! Oh <laughs> God, he frustrates me. I really do not. I don't. I'm sure I won't regret picking him when he's a clay doll, but at the moment. Oh, Baltoy, go screw yourself. Right, use quick attack on him. You. No, actually. I don't trust Baltoy's uh, rock team will get rid of Gyarados, but oh well. Use confusion on Sunflora and Rock Tomb on bloody fucking Gyarados. About to do this, so you're going to be dead. Right, good. How on earth did I put my faith in you to do that, Baltoy? I'm not that now you can die. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, shut me up. You showed me, Baltoy. You can give me a good spanking later. Right, we'll use Confusion on Gyarados and Savium on Sunflower. Because I know Confusion will get rid of the high and mighty Gyarados. Nice, I'll fight too. A Hoppip, we just faced the Gyarados. You really think a Hoppip is going to take Gyarados' place? No, I, I don't think so. That's going to be so easy to defeat, but I'm not complaining because the easier it is, the more. Easy it is for me, but less entertaining for you, so. Yeah, I'll show him that. Right, Baltoy, can I trust you to finish off some flora when it's on red health? I know I probably can't, but. Oh, yeah! And his last Pokemon is. Oh, Tropius! God, I love Tropius. Right, so now we've just got to gang up on his uh, big, fat Tropius. I'll tell you, the first time I saw one of these in Pokemon Ruby, I was like, "What?" That was literally what I was like. And 
Right, okay. Confusion and Rock Tomb. Might have more than I thought it would actually. Oh god. Yeah, I sort of predicted that. Whoa, he didn't die! Oh my god, Baltoy! But he did a shit move, okay. Right, speed fell. Right, Baltoy, I'm gonna let you finish him off, but. Let's get grammar out there. Hey, you can go boom! In Sugar Conroy's words, not mine. <laughs> So the perk one who did the, sh who did the shittest in this battle is there. Oh right, no, he doesn't start. He doesn't. He's not lost one standing because he gets rid of himself. Cherubin lost. Lost the Roro Grudon. Cherubin lost. But but how would this be? My Roro Grudon go down and defeat. Huh? Oh! Oh, on closer inspection, it's been! A while it's been! What? Our alleged beggar is merely Cherubin's acquaintance? And a child, no less! Bah! Enough! Enough of this nonsense! Give the Robo Grudon's utter failure. The half built Robo Kyogre doesn't inspire confidence. I doubt it'll ever be useful. Cherubin, see that, this Robo see that Robo Kyogre is disposed of as scrapped by Mackin in the parts shop. Understood? Huh? We're dropping developer with Robo Kyogre? It's finished. Over and done with. Kaput. The whole Robo Pokemon plan is cancelled. Doctor, wait. Please. Chairman would like to keep Gerudo a Grudon at least. Hmm. I have no interest in that any Pokemon, any Robo I've scrapped. As you wish. Sigh. So, all we did was bring it so close to completion. Chairman wants to know that what brought you here today. Chairman sees you wanted to see the parts drop, man. Makin is in the manor. Chairman suggests you go and have a look. In the meantime, Chairman must put away wherever grew on. Oh yes, Ben. Chairman would Chairman would like your PDA number if you'd be so kind. Chairman modify the rubber grew on. Chairman would like a rematch when the work is done. Right, so that's all we've got time for today. I'm afraid. Um, I thought we'd get quite a bit more done in this episode actually. Oh well, um, in this episode we just did what we did, in the next episode we should be uh, finally finding out what is in the desert, where we need to go, and getting our script upgraded obviously to do that. See you then.